going guys? So in this video, I've got something that I think you're gonna like. So a few videos back, I made a spy wrist laser watch. Now I tried to do that video very inexpensively um, so other people could do it. The only expensive part was obviously the burning laser, um, but for the actual watch, I just used some plastic I found. Um, but a lot of you wanted me to make a more professional, higher grade laser watch. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So the first thing I did was went and picked up this enormous watch. I'll leave a parts list down in the description, but basically I just searched like really big watches on Amazon and um, this came up and this thing is huge, but that is good because that means there's a lot of room for batteries. And generally what I've found is that the cheaper the watch, the better. So this thing, it was like 13 bucks. So by no means high end, but that is actually perfect for what we're doing because that means it comes apart very easily and I can already tell um, that this thing is basically hollow. So that also means we'll be able to fit this 200 milliwatt blue laser diode inside here along with enough battery to last quite a while. So actually all that takes to open this back part is a razor blade. And all we gotta do is just carefully pry around the edges and it pops right open. And look how much empty space we have to work with in there. This thing is perfect. And then this plastic piece actually just pulls right on out. And yeah, mostly empty space. But we still get that high quality look on the outside. So my plan is to position the laser kind of like this. So it'll shoot out of the front part right here. And what I'm gonna use for batteries are a few quote unquote AAA batteries taken from the inside of a nine volt. And when I wanna switch them out, I'll just pop off the back compartment and uh, make the switch. And one of the really cool thing I noticed is this button is actually fake, but it doesn't do anything. It's just there for looks. But if we look very closely, let me just zoom in a little bit. We can see that when we push it, it actually pushes in a little bit. So I think I can rig up a push button switch right here. So this button can actually activate the laser. Alright guys, so I just finished up installing the batteries along with the laser pointer in the middle. Um, sorry I couldn't film too much of the process because I actually had no idea how I was going to do this. Basically I have all the batteries wired in there and this time you can actually remove them. Um, I added little springs in there um, so you can actually change the batteries. I think my lighter laser video, it wasn't very easy to change the batteries and uh, yeah, just uh, addressing that concern. So if we put the battery back in place, and then I actually ended up using a momentary switch um, to this button right here, and uh, that will activate the laser. And I cut out a little hole for the laser to come out of right there. You can see. And what I also did was added this little cutout right here for the back panel. Um, so this just fits on right here. And uh, what this allows me to do is actually adjust the focus of the laser um, for like up close burning, or if I wanna have it focus a lot farther away, I can do that as well. So this just snaps on the back just like that. And then we're good to go.
right guys, so there you go. I really hope you did like this video. Um, I think this watch is definitely a step up compared to my last version. Um, definitely looks a lot more professional. And this thing can burn really easily. And it's actually really legit. Green lasers are more visible, but blue lasers put out a higher energy um, because they're actually at a higher frequency. Um, so as you saw, this thing lights matches, no problems, pops balloons, and um, even can burn wood. And best of all, it's put into a regular watch. So if you did like this video, um, hit that like button if you want. And also, if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, click that subscribe button. And also, if you are subscribed, make sure to click that bell icon and turn on notifications. Uh, because recently there's been some issues with YouTube and um, they're not notifying subscribers. So uh, make sure you have that on to see more cool inventions just like this. Because uh, trust me guys, I've got a lot of cool stuff coming up and you don't want to miss it. Alright, so uh, that's been it for this video guys. And I will catch you in the next one.